Cruise by Mandy. One last walkthrough here. Um, I don't think I pointed out the robes the other day. You can pre-request robes with your travel agent um, that we can input. If they don't show up, just ask your room steward. Um, always good to have those. Um, I do want to focus on the bedding. I do get questions every now and then of what type of mattress is it? That's not something they normally give us. Sometimes it's an off-brand, might be created only for the cruise line. But I did want to point out here, you can have these two twin beds pushed together as a queen, as they are done here for my husband and I. If I'm traveling with another travel agent, we get them separated. Um, there are some cruise ships and some categories within certain cruise ships that do not have the capability to have the bed split. These can be split. So as you notice, you have basically the fitted sheet, a normal sheet, the duvet, and then basically another cover on top of that. Um, as far as the bedding in the middle, you can kind of see the, the squares right there. Um, I could not feel any gap whatsoever rolling over. Maybe um, the pillows were nice and fluffy. If you want it hyperallergenic pillows, you could get those. But I was going to try the bed apart just a little bit because it's going to be torn apart anyway. If you lift this sheet right here, you have a mattress cover. And it is a good thick mattress cover. As you can see right here, um, it is nice and cushiony. And it is a mattress cover, mattress topper actually, that is strapped on in all four corners. Let's move this over here. And I'd already pulled this up earlier. So this is strapped on. They do have the um, mattress protector as well. And a good mattress here. Now when I was on board the Royal Princess, they were in the process of going through all the mattresses to replace all of the mattresses and it's just like food you cannot please everybody with a mattress you get everybody a brand new mattress people are going to complain it's too firm have a cruise ship that's right before dry dock and they're going to complain mattresses were too soft they were lumpy so that you can't make a mattress that's going to please over 3,000 passengers every sailing every week times 52 weeks a year so can never guarantee the quality of the mattress in the exact seat room that you will be booking. But they do use higher quality mattresses because they know people are in here and just like hotels. Now, as far as the kids' beds, the sofa bed does make out. I know we did have to tear this one apart because we couldn't find one of the kids' cell, um, cell phones. One kid has one. And you use the medallion app on your cell phone. But it was um, a good mattress. I did lay on it to t test it out just to make sure. And it is a full length sofa. So if you are an adult, you know, as long as you're under six feet tall, you should be fine. Um, and there is that one. Up top for the other kid, there's always this railing. So if you're worried about falling out of bed, they always have the railing here and here, and then here, this hooks in. As you can see, the little hook dillies. Now, they do say, that you do not need to be more than 551 pounds or 250 kilograms. So make sure um, they don't always state that. And in some cruises, I know it is 250 pounds, 250. So be aware of that. But this was also a good mattress. I didn't feel like it was anything crazy. I did crawl up here and test it. Did not video myself doing it, but it feels good as well. There is a nightlight up top. Oh my goodness. And that is still turned on from when my daughter was up there earlier. So, go up the four steps here. I'm on my knees. Turn that sucker off. And it's good. So now our stateroom steward doesn't have to do it. See? I'm up here. And that curtain did close between the beds. Which was nice. It is not a sound barrier. Well, let's see if I fall down and like crash myself here on Facebook Live. But you do have these that pop down. The blackout curtains were great. You have the sheer curtain if you don't want that out there. And then the blackout curtain, which overlapped. So as you can see, it's made it quite dark. And then especially if you're on this side in the adult bed, you have this second 
here and hook it because I was being nice for a room steward trying to tidy up for him. But if I were to turn the lights out, TV still on, and turn off the TV, you can see it is bright outside, pitch black in here. So the blackout curtains do work. They work well. I slept until 9.30 yesterday, and anybody that knows me, we are normally up in my house by, hmm, my husband's alarm clock goes off for work between 4 and 4.15. And see, it's still nice and dark over there. I do have the light on back there. Actually, the recessed lighting above the bed. And you see how large the TV is? This is my hand. I don't know how big that is. That's at least, I don't know, 18 inches tall. And then the kids room had kids area of the room also had same size television for them as well with the same program keep that kind of closed to help keep the uh, air conditioning functioning well here but i did want to point out the beds and again just like the weather can't predict the weather i can't predict the actual quality of the bedding of the mattress in each room but i will always say cannot guarantee the quality but if there is an issue, ask about it. And you can also, on some cruise lines, ask for egg crates. But this was awesome. This thing right here, this sucker was pretty good. And could roll over. Um, didn't notice any crack between the two mattresses between my husband and I. And it worked well. As always, bring an extension cord. I use a CPAP machine. And so I put mine here on this table. And the nearest plug-in it's right here behind these cereal boxes right there and if you do travel with adapters bring those as well just so you have them so it gives you extra but i always bring an extra extension cord for my cpap machine and if it's not allowed on that ship then i will actually um contact guest services to see if i can use one of their approved electrical devices and a lot of the newer ships are coming in with the usb ports now I'm going to charge this phone just a little bit more. Light switches by the bed. You can use the lamp by the bed. No big deal. And then also, if you don't want to sleep with a curtain between you and the kids, no problem. Just keep it um, tied back. That's not an issue. And always ask, is the water that's there free or is it charged? This water was for a charge. And your room service, depending on which cruise line, you can get room service um, a lot of them are complimentary as well so always be aware of that and you do want to hang it out in advance and fill out front and back cruise by Mandy talking about beds nice great beds you can roll over they don't squeak they don't wake up the whole cabin they are awesome so two thumbs up on the bedding on board Sky Princess cruise by Mandy signing off